All right, boys and girls, we're gonna do another one. Uh, I'm gonna give you two in one week. All right, so the last uh, last review we did, we did this little guy right here, which is the uh, Rayburn Chris McCall swim jig, Santone lures. I always throw my Santone lure, Santone swim jig on my power rods. Uh, this one right here is a 775 CEF, which is a seven foot seven five power rod. <clears throat> you know I'm sponsored by power rods. May or may not be after this review, but like I told you before, I'm not gonna lie to you. One of the things that I like most about these Powells is the fact that if you get on their website and you go to their rods, they have them all listed. This is a Max 3D, which is has been replaced by the Endurance series. One of my favorite things is that when you read that description on that rod, it's gonna tell you, for instance, this one is flipping, punching, big jigs, and swimmers. If you read that description on there and it tells you a Carolina rig rod, it's going to make a very good Carolina rig. If it tells you it's a frog rod, it's a very good frog rod. I know a lot of companies, uh, a lot of other rod manufacturers, you know, I've had Carolina rig rods that I used for, uh, you know, for spinnerbait rods or it, it just seems like you kind of got to, you, you, you have to fit their rod for what suits your style best so if you know you may use a carolina rig for a frog or you may use a frog for a flipping rod with these pals whatever it tells you on their website is what it's going to be <clears throat> so if you order a flipping rod you're getting a flipping rod if you order a big jig rod you're getting a big jig rod these rods i haven't had a a lot of issues with these rods i've had a few that are annoying probably as far as manufacturing goes I haven't seen any big issues with you know the eyes are, are very solid there's no just outstanding defects that it just catch you you know that catch your eye right off the bat um, the I've had some issues with some glue coming off around the seats um, I've had some issues with the rods breaking on hook set uh, way up here about the fifth and sixth eye is where most of them break and it does it's not a clean break I actually meant to uh, grab another one of the ones that I've broken to kind of show you uh, and it, it's all been on hook set some of them were new some of them were you know were old I think I own 28 power rods and I believe I have broken three of them doing that uh, you know on hook set and they've all broke the same way I mean, I broke a whole lot more than that because I don't pay much attention. I slam them in rod lockers and step on them, or I may or may have, may or may not have gotten mad a few times and broke some on purpose. That's neither here nor there. Another thing that I've that uh, is a pretty common problem on the ones uh, that I have. This is on about I'd say at least half of the rods that I own. These two. I don't know what they are. I'm a fisherman, not a rod builder. Um, like I said, I fish and mediocre fisherman at that. <laughs> Nonetheless, whatever these, I'm going to call them seats for, for now. I don't know. These, uh, these, it's just where the rod, it's, it, I think it's just more for looks uh, to kind of make it a, a more smooth transition. You can see that, you know, this is loose in here. Functionality, I haven't noticed the difference. It's really not a huge deal. The only thing is it becomes annoying by about the end of the day or, you know, somewhere in the middle of the day, you're casting and you keep feeling that move underneath your fingers. You keep feeling it move. And it's just those little things like that that, like I said, it, that doesn't make a difference as far as the, as far as the, the fishability of the rod. It's just more annoying than anything. Uh, the, the cork's always been good. I haven't had any issues with that. I, uh, I have a, a bunch of different rods, and like I said, the, the, that's the main two problems that I've had. Uh, not a whole lot of negatives to say about them. 
I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get that other rod and show you what I'm talking about on the break. Hang on just a second. So this is one of the ones that I broke. This is a 6104 crankbait rod or jerkbait and crankbait rod. Um, I was fishing a jerkbait with this. This one still was still fairly new. You could tell the, the cork's not even all that stained. Anyhow, and this one broke on hook set. And if you look at it, you can't even tell it's broke. Like I said, it's not a clean break, but it, it just kind of shatters in the middle of that rod. Like I said, I don't know how good you can see that, but it just, it just, I don't even know how to explain that break. I mean, a lot of rods I broke and, you know, it's a clean break and the, the end of the rod goes down the line. But, the, and I've experienced this, like I said, on, on several rods uh, and all on hook set. So if you want to get on Powell's website, go look at them. You're going to get what you order. If you order a crankbait rod, you're going to get a crankbait rod. Uh, their 806 flipping rod is a really, really good flipping rod. I haven't had any issues with those other than slamming them in rod lockers or getting them caught on a tree at Falcon. So uh, that's about all I got to say about those. So you guys need to uh, comment. Let me know what you want me to review. Let me know uh, whose feelings, you know, whose feelings I may either make happy or may make mad, but I'm here to do it right and I wanna make sure that uh, that my reviews are, are honest and true and I hope you guys enjoy it. So y'all stick around.